Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem from the 2021 German Federal Mathematics Competition, round one, problem free. I suggest you try this problem out for a minimum of 15 minutes, ideally 45 to an hour, but not more than an hour and a half. If on the other hand, you'd like to go along with us, I suggest you take a preliminary look of 10 minutes and try to solve the problem or at least push it as far as you can. So now let's begin. So what the problem says is free over 10 can be written as a sum of reciprocals in two ways, namely these two ways. And what you immediately see by this, given that we're not writing them as a half minus one over five or plus one over minus five, is that we're just looking at positive integers. And the question asks in how many ways can free over 2021 be written as a sum of two reciprocals of natural numbers. Now the first part, is to figure out how many ways we can write it as a sum of reciprocals. Let's write it as a sum of two reciprocal variables, x and y, where x and y are positive integers. Now, how do we solve this? Honestly, I forgot how exactly I'm supposed to solve this. So I solved the other one, 3 over 10 is 1 over x plus 1 over y. And the reason, and here's a general like sort of strategy, is when you forget how to do something, some like general method, do it on something simpler that you know the answers to, and then you can maybe figure out, oh, is, your, is the method you're using actually correct or not? So here, multiplying everything by 10 and trying to factor these things out, we get 3xy minus 10x minus 10y is zero. Okay, so I wanna factor out, let's factor out x. We get x times 3y minus 10. Okay, so I need 3y minus 10 in the other bracket. Uh, and I need to multiply this to get free y. Okay, so it's negative 10, negative 10 over three. And I need to add on the other side, negative, t actually no, negative and negative make a positive, 10 squared over three. Now this three is a bit unnecessary. Let's multiply everything through by three at the same time. And we'll get three x times three y minus 10 minus 10, 3y minus 10 is equal to 10 squared, 3x minus 10 times 3y minus 10 is equal to 10 squared. Okay, this is nice. And now there's factors, one, 10 squared, two, 50, and so on and so forth. Though actually, because this is congruent to minus one modulo three, and this is also congruent to minus one modulo three, we can can't get rid of some of these factors, some of these cases, but basically we're left with a couple of cases that we need to solve. And from here, you can immediately see, oh, I'll get four in this case, I'll get the solution for 20 in this case, and I'll get some other solutions in other cases. Now going back to this one, well, let's just multiply everything by three times 20, 21 times X times Y, and what we'll get is three X, Y, times three is nine is equal to 2021 x times three plus 2021 times y times three. Moving everything to one side and factoring, we'll get three x, three y minus 2021 minus 2021, three y minus 2021 is equal to 2021 squared. And now three x minus 2021 times three y minus 2021 is equal to 2021 squared. Now to solve this, we need to know the prime factorization of 2021. And hopefully before every competition, you know the prime factors of the year you're competing in. And the prime factors of 2021 are 43 and 47. Also, you can figure that out because it's 45 squared minus two squared is 2021. And now we need to look at, okay, three X minus 2021. What is this congruency modulo three? Maybe we can get rid of a case or two. Well, this is zero, this is minus two, which is one modulo three. Okay, both this and, huh, oh, this isn't one modulo three. Oh, but we're looking at squares now. We need this squared times this squared, and we can maybe, okay, we know that both of these factors need to be congruent to one modulo three. And with that, let's see what we're left with. We'll have and because 2021 squared is one mod three, we only need to make sure that one of them is one mod three. So we have one, 43, 43 squared, and 43 times 47. 
the other one being 43 squared times 47 squared, 43 times 47 squared, 47 squared, and 43 times 47. Now, every single one of these will give us a solution in x and y, namely the solution for x will be x, so we have 3x minus 20, 21 is equal to 1, x is equal to over 3, but basically, I don't know if we even have to do this now, we know that every one of these will give us a solution. So there are four solutions in the case that 3 over 2021. So 3 over 2021 can be written in four ways as a sum of two positive reciprocals. And now I invite you to pause for 10 to 20 minutes and move on to part B. See if you can solve it yourself. Here's part B. So the second case is, does there exist an integer free that does not divide n, integer n, such that free over n can be written in exactly 2021 ways as a sum of two positive reciprocals? Now let's do this in the general case. Free over n is equal to 1 over x plus 1 over y. Multiply everything by free and xy. What we get is 9yx minus free and x minus free and y is 0. And now we factor this as... 3x times 3y minus n minus n times 3y minus n is n squared. And this factors nicely in is n squared. Now, the simplest n to deal with is a prime n. So let's test out the waters with some prime or prime power. p to 2 alpha, that's what n is. n is p to the alpha is n. 3x minus p to the alpha. 3y minus p to the alpha. And let's see, can we get everything. Well, the only thing that matters is that for us, we have factors 1 or p or p to the squared, p to the third, all the way till p to 2 alpha. If we want to catch all of these factors, then we need to make sure, one, we will have 2 alpha plus 1 solutions in that case. And to make sure all of these will work, we just need to make sure that 3x minus p to the alpha equaling p to the beta for some beta, for actually not for some, for every beta between zero and two alpha has a solution. And because this p can't be divisible by three, what we need to make sure is that three x is equal to p to the beta plus p to the alpha. So basically this means that three must divide p to the alpha minus beta in absolute value terms plus one. I invite you to take five minutes to figure out if this works or not. And at first you have a disappointment because this isn't always true. Namely, if alpha and beta are of the same parity, then this is not going to be divisible by three because then this will be p to the power of two times something, which is the same as p to the power of something squared, which will be congruent to one mod three, so three will not divide that plus one. On the other hand, if alpha and beta are different parities, and if p is two mod three, which we can do, just pick p is five, then this will be divisible by three for every such alpha and beta. Now, alpha is a constant, and the other one, when we have p to the beta, on the other hand, we will have p to the three y minus p to the alpha will be equal to three to the two alpha minus beta. And then we will have that three needs to divide the absolute value of alpha minus two alpha minus beta plus one, which is equal to p to the absolute value of alpha minus beta plus one. So if we pick a alpha such that, actually forget about picking alpha, if we need to get 2021 20, solutions, how many will we have for some alpha? If we picked a p, which is congruent to two module five, well, actually, this thing right here was actually wrong because we'll be repeating solutions if we do this. We only need to look at solutions still p to the alpha, which gives us alpha plus one solutions. And now with that mistake corrected, what we know is if we're picking a beta here, then it's beta minus alpha. And now we're looking at how many times does three divide this, i.e. for how many beta is beta minus alpha not divisible by two, where beta is element of one, zero, one, two, all the way till alpha. Actually, my bad, it's the opposite. It's alpha minus beta. 
and I invite you to take five to 10 minutes to figure this out. Now the answer is roughly half, but we need to be precise here. So the way I go about these types of things where I'm not sure if it's a half, plus one the floor, minus one the floor, the ceiling or whatnot, I just test out a couple of cases. So for fixed alpha, say for alpha is equal one, we will have one such beta and namely that is beta is equal to zero. For alpha two, we will have how many? Well, again, we'll have one and namely beta is equal to one will be that beta. For alpha is three, we will have two, namely beta is zero and two. For alpha is four, we'll have two, namely beta one and three. And as you can see, this might follow a pattern and the pattern it does actually follow is so the floor of alpha plus one half. And really the way you get this is just by making, I mean, you can just test out evens and odd, odds cases to actually prove this. But what we need this to be is equal to 2021 and we can do this. It's now just a matter of figuring out the correct alpha. In fact, we can make it exactly 2021. We don't need this, like we don't need this floor. We can make this exactly 2021, i.e. alpha will be equal to two times 2021, 442 minus one, 441. So the number n equals five to the power of 4041 will work. It will give us exactly 2021 solutions. And now I invite you to take five minutes and quickly write this up. And that's what we'll do now. For part A, we say notice that 3 over 2021 using algebra la 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 is equal to 3x minus 2021 times 3y minus 2021 is equal to 2021 squared. And now we say, notice that 3x minus 2021 is congruent to minus 2021 is congruent to one mod three. And 2021 squared is also congruent to one mod three. So both of these must be congruent to one mod three. And if one of them is congruent to one mod three, then the other one is. And we write this down. And now we say what the factors of 2021 are, namely one, 43, 47 in 2021. So for 2021 squared, we have combinations of squares of these two primes. And we say that the only factors, we can say X is less than or equal to Y without loss of generality. And then we're looking at one, 43, 43 squared, 43 times 47. And that's basically it. And now from here, we will know that three X minus 2021 will be equal to some number that's one mod three. So this will be divisible by three. So we will have solutions and we write this down. And you notice that you made a mistake with 43 times 47. So to actually have three solutions, namely X is equal to 674, 688 and 1290. And we get the corresponding Y, which is Y equals to 1 million 362,154, 32,336, and 1,410. So now we're done with part A, and now we move on to part B. Namely, find an N that doesn't, isn't divisible by 3, such that we have 2021 solutions in X and Y. Now the way we do this, we can just say for N equals for n equals five to the power of 4,041, we will have this thing will be transformed as three X minus five to the power of 4,041 times three Y to the power of 5,041 is equal to 25 to the power of 4,041. Now the solutions to this are X, Y is equal to five to the zeros plus five to the four O four one over three and five to the 8082 plus 5041 over 3. And all of these solutions, we have exactly 2021 solutions here. So this shows that the answer is yes, there does exist a positive integer n, such which is not divisible by 3, such that 3 over n can be written as a sum of two reciprocals in exactly 2021 ways. And we're done. And as always, Thanks for problem solving.